Hello, everybody. Let's go ahead and get started with a love reading for you. Ooh, what do we got here? Cards flying out. Ooh, leaving, Bre breaking in the cycle, saying goodbye, moving on to better things. For some of you, you've already done that. It's showing up in past energy. So you left someone. You left someone behind. You said, no more. I'm not going to continue going down this road. Um, see, yeah, they were trying to keep you as a secret lover. They wanted you to compromise, you, you know, your own happiness. And it's almost like they had... They didn't want to reveal their intentions towards you. They didn't want to reveal anything. And so, um, must be like this person wants to come back in and start over. Let's keep going. Spirit, please show me their love life. What do we got here? We've got gossip. Okay. Uh, people are talking, protect your relationship. Other, uh, other opinions affect you. Then we've got surprise. Okay, right next to the gossip. And then we've got soulmates. Unexpected romance, meeting someone new, blast from the past. Uh, soulmate says best friends, real connection, great compatibility. Then we've got friends here, being friends first, growing into love, putting in, put it, being put into the friend zone. Okay, awakening. Uh, opening of the heart, spiritual activation, twin flame ascension. And last card, we've got forbidden, clandestine affair, family disproves secret pleasures. So we already had that secret up here with the secret lover, hidden interest in you, revealing intentions. And we've got now the forbidden love. Bottom of the deck, we've got moving, moving in together, getting a new home and going, going away. I think someone wants to come back in and they want to reevaluate the situation between the two of you. And I think they're willing to make a compromise. I feel like this one, this, whoever this is, doesn't want you to get away. And the siren just went off as I said that. Um, wow. I feel like they want to move in together. I feel like uh, they see you as their soulmate. I think that they've been talking to other people about you. And I think that they're finally realizing why it was that you left in the first place. And they're afraid of losing this bond that they have with you. It's almost like they see you back here and you're just like, you see how she's turned away from him? And it's almost like they... I almost feel like they run into each other, but it's not a coincidence that they run into each other, if you catch my drift. So I do feel like, you know, that in the past, this person wasn't willing to compromise. They weren't willing to open up. They didn't want to offer any type of stability or structure in this relationship. They pretty much kept it to themselves. They never really told you how they felt. I feel like in the past, they how they felt is they really wanted this relationship, but they kept it a secret. They wanted to keep it a secret because with the sunglasses here that she's wearing and the admirer card, it's definitely secret vibes. You know, I can't stand talking to someone who won't take off their sunglasses. Like, what is it you don't want me to see? Why is it you can't take off your sunglasses? And every time I talk to you, you're always wearing sunglasses. Take them off. Let me look at your eyes because your eyes are the windows to the soul. And if you look at these two, if you look at these two, the eyes are not seen and they're side by side. So it's like you couldn't read this person. And look at this. It's like I can see her eyes, but again, I can't see his eyes. Like, what's he it's almost like she's trying to see what he's seeing, but she's making all the compromises. Look at how she's holding him instead of him holding her. And here, like, she's all alone. So it was like in the past, you were all alone in this relationship, I feel like. It was like they were there, but they weren't. They were there, with it, but they weren't. Maybe they kept you, you know, in the, in the, in the dark, you know, they only wanted to see you at nighttime. I think that other people's opinions affected this relationship between the two of you. 
It could have been friends gossiping. They didn't want to see you here happy. They, you know. Or they were afraid that they might lose you as a friend. If you got into a, if this person got into a relationship, it was like their friends were so worried that they would lose them as a friend. Oh, if they get together with this person, person, they're going to be so whooped that I'm never going to see them again. So what did they do? They talked about, oh, you don't need a relationship. You know, you should, or probably gave them really bad advice. Like, you know, you should treat this person like this and you should just be inconsistent. And, you know, you should just not answer the phone when they call. You know, those friends who give you really bad advice and then it ends up hurting you. And in the end, they don't take responsibility. In the end, they don't come back and they don't say, hey man, you know, I was kind of being a dick and I probably gave you really bad advice and you probably shouldn't have taken my advice. She was a really good person and I see now that you're hurting and I see now that you're really sad and I'm kind of thinking that that was a dick move and I think you should probably go back and get her because, you know, this is your soulmate or vice versa. You should go back and get him because this is your soulmate. I think that at this point, you may, whoever comes back may get put into friend zone. It will not necessarily open up uh, a relationship between the two of you. It might like a romantic one because I, I almost feel like this is, I don't feel like everybody's going to approve of this relationship. I don't feel like friends are going to approve of this relationship. I don't feel like family is going to approve of this relationship. And I think someone here is has gone through the awakening and is realizing or is going to be going through a realizing a realization. Maybe for some of you it's after this person moves in with you. I almost feel like someone's here is willing to compromise their own relationship with their friends and family for this relationship with you. I don't know if that's a good thing. I'll be honest with you. Let's just put it this way. As much as I love people, as much as my family could give two shits about my thoughts, I wouldn't want to be in a relationship with somebody that my entire family hated or disproved of. It would make it awkward around, you know, holidays and birthdays and uh, family reunions and all of those things. And, you know, I don't know that I could handle that. I mean, for me, I could because I don't have any family. You know, I've got a lot of friends that I consider family. I don't have any blood relatives that give two shits about what I'm doing, though. But I give two shits, you know, sometimes. And... I know that if, I don't know that I could do the whole forbidden love thing. I'm not that Romeo and Juliet type person. You know, as much as I care for somebody, if I look around and I see that us being together creates, you know, obnoxiousness, you know, for other people, I don't want to be with you. <laughs> you know, if, if, if you rub my family or my friends the wrong way, um, I don't want to be with you. You know what I mean? Um, and I think that's kind of this dynamic. And I think a lot of people are talking about this. I think a lot of people are talking about the two of you guys moving in with one another. And it's like someone here is literally willing to compromise everything all the way down to their stability. And it's almost like. I think someone here is going to wake up when it's a little bit too late. Let's see what this forbidden is, because I'm almost getting a snake vibe. And I saw a vision of a snake earlier, and it kind of made me feel, oh my God, look at what just flew out. I cannot make this up. 
Deception, Shady, Temptation, Enemy. I'm going to name this the not so perfect love story. You guys, I cannot make this up. This is the forbidden love. You saw me shuffle bottom of the deck. We've got storm warning. I don't know if you saw those cards fly out, but if not, go back and rewind. Yeah, mystery. Yeah, seriously. There's some hidden shit about this person that is going to come up and it's only a matter of time and you're going to end up being single anyway. At the end of the day, it's almost like someone here ends up compromising everything for this relationship. And unfortunately, you know, they're going to lose a lot of friends and family because of it. Uh, there is an, uh, a lot of drama that comes with this relationship when it comes to this storm warning, when it comes to these two people even moving in together, or if you're not moving in together, it's about um, you discussing moving in together. Okay. And it's going to create some upheaval for other people in this, in this reading. Man, man. Does it matter? I think that someone here is delusional in some aspects um, and wants to continue. And maybe the two of you guys do decide to get together. It's almost like, you know, like today we have the Mercury um, in Sagittarius uh, squaring Neptune in Pisces. And so I've had like major brain farts all day. Like it would have, if, if I went, was out and about and somebody would have told me something, I probably would have believed it. You know what I mean? Or if I was under the influence of something right now, which is Neptune, I pro you could probably sell ice to an Eskimo at, at that point when it comes to me. That's what I'm kind of, I hope that makes sense to you guys. I don't know that it does, but I hope it does. But this forbidden love, you know, if this is about somebody that you have known uh, from the past that just came in. Uh, and I feel like this person could have very well came in like a wrecking ball. And I feel like they're going to end up coming in and wrecking an entire family. And at the end of the day, unbeknownst to this person that falls for this shit, they're going to end up single anyway. Bummer. And I feel like this person is also going to isolate this individual from their friends and family and keep them away from everybody that is so important to them. Man, that's so fucked. That is so fucked. Whoever it is, I hope you are not watching my channel. And if you are, I hope you heed this warning that karma comes to people like you. And at the end of the day, you will be found out. That is a promise. This is terrible, absolutely terrible to do to a family. And I don't see this as a family that is a bad family either. I don't see that. I, I see this person as loved by their family, but it's almost like now everything they do is going to, everything that you and your partner does ha is going to have to be in secret because nobody's going to want to hear about it. Nobody in this scenario is going to want to hear about what you got going on and everybody's talking and everybody's going, what the fuck are they doing? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Everybody's talking like, and I'm just waiting for a fucking blow up. If there hasn't already been one, there might even be another one. After all this came out, I think that there was very much, um, a blow up, but I think there's going to be even more of a blow up. If you guys are like now going into like moving in together, even after all this. <laughs> so you guys know, be careful. If you start seeing snakes around your front porch and you start seeing snakes on people's shirts and you start hearing the word snakes and you see, start seeing cartoon snakes or whatever, man, or having vision of snakes. You got a snake in your midst and once a snake, always a snake. And as much as a snake can shed its skin, it is still a snake. I'm going to leave that here, you guys. Yeah, there's a snake in the grass. I just saw that. Spirit just showed me this. Yeah. And that snake is one of these um, soulmates and they're here to bite. So 
Good luck with this one. Uh, again, this is the not so perfect love story. You guys, I love you all so much. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram under the footsteps to peace. Um, and yeah, good luck with this one. And if you need help getting through it, schedule a reading. I would be happy to help under the footsteps to peace. Like this video, share if you will. And uh, especially if you know who this story belongs to, save a friend. Take care.